Good morning, Mr. Kumar. My name is Melanie Moore, and I'm going to present the coaching strategy for Sims Hardware. The retail industry is enormously complex, containing many vocations and employment opportunities. Thus, it is important to keep the frontline retail employees satisfied and subsequently reducing their turnover. Frontline retail employees have a profound influence on their organization's effectiveness and customer satisfaction. The employee's engagement plays a critical link for a better customer service that would lead to the increase in sales. We have developed a training career development plan to maximize our capacity as an organization to achieve our target goals. This development plan would first and foremost require the following. The program is designed to be budget neutral. The management may allocate funds, a designated conference room with access to projector, computer, and some of the organization's resources for our disposal, a part-time program manager that will coordinate and support the coaching events and activities. Online sessions may be available for field personnel to connect via collaborative workspaces or video conferencing. We will also have a resource page on the Sims Company website. We will have access to the learning tools, online training classes, videos, and other resources at any time at the convenience. We will also organize field trips or tours as a learning event and opportunity to help with the coaching goal. We will invite uh, guest speakers to lecture the participants. It is the aim of this program to provide quality service to develop, maintain, and improve our performance as employees and promote a corporate learning environment. We are committed to train and develop a versatile and competent workforce to meet the long-term needs of the organization. The program will serve as one of the organization's tools to develop, to advance the relationship within the organization, and encourage strategy that will guide the workforce to produce tangible results. It is our mission to align coaching as a lifelong learning tool to ensure the benefits of the program are understood and across all departments. To align with SIMS Hardware Coaching Program, we will focus on the following human capital areas. During the onboarding stage, we will support the trainees in understanding SIMS Hardware values, missions, and goals. Skill enhancement to share the skills and knowledge of competent staff to other employees who need the same specific skills. Customer service in creating a model for desired behavior encourage development competencies and cult cultivate the right attitude. Staff retention, providing a supportive environment will facilitate the progression of the company. Employee engagement, to place importance on the employees on how they are valued and that they are part of the organization's future. The following will play a vital role in the success of this program and I, and, and I encourage everybody to approach the following key personnel so we will know our progress and assess any amendments we will need to do on the development plan. As the learning and development consultant, I need to make sure the program is delegated precisely within the framework and time range we have set. I will work closely with the program manager. So the program manager, he will facilitate the implementation and evaluation of the program. Further, uh, he will commit the resources for the training and coaching the participants. The coaching program or coordinator, he will provide the interactive and challenging sessions, review and make a thorough evaluation of the trainee's progress, guide and direct efforts of the coach and trainee, facilitate the planning and, manag and managing trainee's assessment, tracking and scheduling activities, documentation of reporting re requirements, and most importantly, the trainees. Your active participation in the coaching activities will lead us to accomplishment of our goal. We would appreciate your feedback and recommendation for the program development. The pro to program this multi-formatted training activity the profession and professional experience, which will run as per the following stages. First, we will conduct an open house to allow the trainees to study the program. The program manager will discuss the benefits and policies and procedures of the program. Orientation session. Once the trainees are selected to kick off the program, an orientation will be conducted. This is to outline policies and procedures further emphasizing the importance of this program to the organization. During the media review, halfway through the program, we will conduct 
conduct a media review to assess our progress and have an open session feedback. We'll be most appreciated to ensure the success of this program. And lastly, a, gradu a graduation will be done to honor all the participants of this program. The program is estimated to run for about eight months, which I will explain and follow up according to our monthly set activities. So during the first month, as previously mentioned, an orientation will be conducted. We will start with a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the coach and the trainee, presentation of the online training tools, getting acquainted, open discussions, discuss the mentoring program, introduction of online training classes, videos, and other resources, and we will sort out the next schedule afterwards. On the second month, we will conduct our first one-on-one -on -one meeting with a coach and trainee. This is to reacquaint the trainees following the first month orientation. What skills have been developed so far? What are the progress on the goals set? How to work together and sort out the next schedule? For the third month, we will introduce individual development plan, update on the progress of activities, discuss the goal and objectives of the individual development plan. For the fourth month, we will focus on the professional development goal, update on the progress of the individual development plan and the introduction of the professional development plan, working on specific challenges, finding practical applications. Fifth month, strategize to meet the goals, an in-depth ex exploration of the professional development plan, incorporation of the coaching program on our day-to-day -day work, discuss trainees practic practice strategies. Six months, we will assess the mentoring program, examine the individual and professional development program, discuss additional guidance, specific strategies, and specific actions. Seventh month at this stage will be finalizing our work on the individual and professional development plan, implementation of the individual and professional development plan, final strategies to address the goals, what are the opportunities to practice competencies on the job, integrate the lessons learned in the workflow. For the eighth month, we will be will be the, the conclusion. Time for reflection and celebration, an opportunity to explore how to set course for ongoing lifelong learning and development beyond the coaching program. The, re uh, the research design was conducted using the quantitative and cross-sectional design within the independent variable framework of training and development and coaching. The, de the dependent variable framework of employee retention and employee satisfaction. Based on the research questions of first, what factors impacts on an employee's intention to leave or remain in sense hardware? And the second question is lack of effective training and development cited as a reason for employee satisfaction. There are two sources of data collection based on the primary data and secondary data. The primary data is the foundation of the current study through creating database on the sentiments of the participants, while the secondary data used are based on the previous works of other researchers. Further, multiple regression analysis was used to predict the impact of the two or more variables on another variable. Based on the study, the findings illustrate the effect of training and coaching on employee retention and satisfaction. It reflected negatively on the reliability statistics of retention. This signified that it is not only training and coaching that inspires the employees to remain in the organization. This means that there is a need to implement other factors in order to encourage the employees to stay with the company. In conclusion, the result shows that training and coaching have no significant impact on employees' retention and satisfaction in SIMS hardware. Therefore, the effectiveness of coaching based on how the organization is managed and how it attends to other significant factors. It is suggested to SIMS hardware that they should invest more in the human capital because the employees are the primary resource in achieving its organization's growth by providing a conducive environment. Job security with financial and non-financial rewards and the human resource management should assist in effectively conducting the employees' training and coaching. Lastly, I would like to present the, refer the references for this presentation.